Now, the reason I put these pages in here is because there's something in the industry that people are aware of who understand this, who may have studied NLP. And I was fortunate enough to uh, get um, internationally certified as a trainer of, of neurolinguistic programming. So I understand the, the techniques and technologies at a fair level of detail. And one of the things that they explained was everybody out there wants to be charismatic, but very few people understand what charisma is. And charisma is not so much what we think it is, but more so much a strategy. And the strategy to charisma is simply known as VAK sequencing. VAK sequencing is where you rotate around. Oh, by the way, staring into the. Um, <laughs> what are these called, Tony? Floodlights? Downlights? But what? LED. Staring into them isn't good for you either. I just did it then. It was great. Um, VAK sequencing is basically, it sounds like this. Um, the next thing I want to share with you, I want it to be crystal clear inside your mind. In fact, what you'll find is what I'm about to share with you is probably going to resonate at a very, very, very deep level. And when you hear the words I'm saying, I want you to grab a hold of the next piece of content because this really is for everyone in the room. Does that make sense? And what I just did then was a VAK sequencing. I did visual predicates, auditory predicates, and kinesthetic predicates. We do it in that order, V-A-K. Why? Because visual people are the ones that want to be addressed first. Think of visual people as your Y learners. It doesn't work like that though. Don't correlate them, but just think of them like Y learners. They want their predicate addressed first. Uh, then the auditory people, and then the kinesthetic people. Generally, we find that kinesthetic people are way more patient and so they will wait for your charisma to kick in. So if you want to be charismatic, learn these pages. You don't have to worry too much about auditory digital because they'll be analyzing what you're saying anyway. But what you do want to do is make sure that you just go round and round in VAK. If there's something that I always do on a platform, it's VAK sequencing. I always do it. It took me maybe a year and a half to get good at it. But certainly nowadays, I do as much VAK sequencing as possible. Not so much in an event like this because you've already been um, indulged by the charisma. You know, it's already done its thing. You're here in the room now. I don't have to be as charismatic anymore. But definitely when you meet me for the first time, I do my, I'm just, just being honest. Um, once you're inside at a preview event, then I have to be charismatic. You know, I, I want you to uh, respond and connect and, and have that, connect you know that, that connection with me and I do that among other things using VAK sequencing and storytelling pillars and everything else this is a, an additional ingredient you can add it's a very high level of complexity and you definitely don't need it at this stage in your presenting however if you've been presenting for a while which I know some of you have some of you've been in this room have been presenting for decades if you have been presenting for decades you might want to now add this to your skill set uh, it's not that hard to do just ask yourself does anything I'm saying right now have any visual connotations to it? Does anything I'm saying right now have any sound or auditory connotation to it? Does anything I'm saying right now have any kinesthetic or feeling orientated connotation to it? And if it does, then chances are you are inside a predicate. So do you need to memorize this table? Absolutely not. Just ask yourself, what is the connotation of what I'm saying? And voila, you'll have it done. And you want to try and cycle within the sentence. So within that one sentence or those few sentences, definitely within a paragraph. And that's when the whole room gets lit up at once. You can later on just do a whole section of visual for five, ten minutes. Later on do a whole section of auditory if you like. But if you want to just do that sequencing pattern and be charismatic to the whole room at once, you just go straight around VAK. You can do the whole thing about 25 seconds and everyone in the room will just be switched back on again. Make sense? Any questions? We've got a question at the back here. And we've got one over here. So we'll start over here. If you could please stand. We've got a microphone coming your way. Please state your name. Hi, Melissa. We love you, Melissa. Thanks. Um, should you try and do it when you're just introducing a concept or actually while you're delivering the whole All the way content? through. The yeah, way. yeah, there's no real place. It's just wherever it is. So um, I might go, hmm, I think I want to be a bit charismatic now. So I can be midway through a piece of content and just pick everybody back up again. Just cycle through those predicates. Yep. 